Rich, you all have done it again. You've come up with another new product. Explain to us, this is reinforced concrete, but with a twist, so to speak. Right. In a, in a traditional concrete form, um, the concrete that we supply, just to, not only to this house, but any other ones, it's designed to resist forces in compression. We squeeze it together. What it's not designed to do very well is resist forces pulling things apart. That's tension. And so in a traditional fashion, we would put reinforcement in there in the form of a hard cage reinforced steel. Well, you've got the labor involved with that, you've got the steel production involved with that, and it all has to come together in one thing, and you've got two different groups of people. You have the people who set the steel, the people who supply the concrete. In this particular case, we were actually able to put the reinforcement in the concrete in the form of a fiber. And what makes this fiber particularly special is that it is 100%, the fiber, 100% recycled polypropylene. The, the fiber, using fiber for reinforcing isn't new. Using recycled material is new. Right. The, the general concept it goes back literally thousands of years, and we have what we, I would call a high-tech adobe. We've taken the concrete, we've added in, and thousands of years ago they came up with the idea to mix straw or hair in it to create that tensile strength. Here, the high-tech is the recycled polypropylene. And the polypropylene is in everyday uses, everything from car bumpers to plastic bags to trash cans to toys. And what they do is they take that, they recycle it, they restrand it into fiber, and we're able to put it in the concrete to create a tensile strength there in one product. Now let me ask you something, because we're, we're pouring today, we're pouring the floor in the bathroom where our hydronics are. Right. This particular floor isn't going to have, doesn't really have any load or weight as per se. So if we were going to like do flat work or a driveway or something that had more substance to it, so right. to speak, would you use the same stuff? What, what would you do in that particular instance and would you have to reinforce that? Well, you've got a couple of things going here. One, what you're pouring today over the hydronics is a very thin layer. In a traditional sense, you literally couldn't put a piece of steel in the correct spot because you've got such a thin piece of concrete. So these fibers work beautifully in a thin section to create tensile reinforcement where you literally you almost couldn't fit in a piece of steel to do that. So one, we've got that covered. When you come out to a more substantial piece of concrete like flat work where you would have cars or vehicular traffic, you still can use the recycled fibers. We can eliminate the steel and use another what we would call structural fiber in its place. But we can create literally a concrete with fibers homogeneously mixed throughout to create a good, strong, durable concrete. So Rich, that means I'm going to see you again in a couple of months because not only are we using flash in our flat work, but we're also using this recycle fiber. Yes, uh, we'll be coming back when we do the flat work here because we're going to use the recycled flash content and we're going to use the recycled fiber in conjunction with a structural fiber. All of that is going to create a good, strong, durable concrete that we're not going to have to use any steel reinforcement in. In the slab, we used 51% flash in flat work and in our pour that we're doing today in the bathroom, we're not going with as much flash, correct? Correct. And one of the things that we're doing there is because you've got an interior finish out that's already there, the uh, finishers need to get a certain type of troweled finish on that. We've got a short working time so because of the tile setting that's going to go on on top. So we modified the design to meet the needs of the contractor and the finishers who are doing that, but we're still able to do that by using the maximum amount of recycled product in it we can. Dr. Rich Sashi with Lattimore Materials. We'll see you here again in a couple of months. All right. Thank you, Chris. Look forward to it.